Hey, so what's going on guys? Louis here, and uh, today I'm back playing some Airport Firefighters The Simulation. Um, it's a new game I'm going to be playing. It is, again, I think this one is actually based in America, I'm not too sure. Um, when I've seen a couple of the videos on it before, um, it looked like it was an American based game. The trucks and whatnot looked American. Um, helmets, you know, everything looked kind of pretty American about it. So, um, this game is made by SES, uh, which is the same company who um, made the previous uh, firefight simulation game that I played. Um, I think it was just Firefighters the Simulation is what it was called. Um, but uh, down here on the helmet it says the default, is it for or how, how have you say it? Anyway, which basically means Fire Department or Fire Service in German. Um, so, again, it's a German game, but it is a, I guess it's based in America, um, which is a kind of thing that throws you off. Um, because, I mean, I, I, I believe it's based in America. The trucks are American looking anyway, um, the majority of them. There's American looking at, uh, you know, uniforms and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is, I've not yet played this game. This is me coming, uh, you know, straight off the bat. I literally just downloaded it, bought it, downloaded it. So, um, right now, uh, I'm running everything on high. I got uh, my music volume all turned down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, hop in game and... Uh, Oh, what unit? Oh, we can actually select whether we want to play with American or German units. That's pretty sick. Well, let's go American, uh, since, you know, that is the closest thing to uh, what I'm doing. Then we'll go normal, uh, level-wise. So let's go ahead and load in. Bomb explosion in the present. John, can you hear me? Come on, say something. What's wrong? Talk to me, John. Come on, man. Say something. <laughs> Mike. Mike, is that you? Yeah, John, it's me, Mike. What happened? We lost contact with you. Are you okay? Are you okay? So fast. It's all right, John. We'll get you out of there. Are you injured? Can you move? I don't know if I can make it. Come on, man. Stay with me. Try to stand up and describe what you see. I'm here in a control room for the conveyor belt system. And I think I can see a door. We're gonna get you out of there. Can you move? Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lower the master volume a little bit. Lower sound effects and I'll lower the mouse sensitivity a little bit because it's a little bit too high just now. Alright, that sounds a bit better. Alright, so let's kind of see what we've got going on. Can we go through Concentrate, here? Concentrate, John. There's got to be a building plan hanging around there somewhere. Try to tell me what part of the building you're in. Right. You've got to hurry. I'm gonna lower the mouse sensitivity a little bit more. Yeah, it's a bit better. That's not as high. Okay, we found a building plan. I found it. Mike, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Tell me where you are. I'm on level two. In section 14. Okay, I know where you are. That area connects to an office wing. See if you can find out how things look at the other side of the door. Uh, so I'm just taking a quick drink of juice. Oh. Alright, so. Let's see where we go. I guess that's just the. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no way out of this room, so. I see if we've got any equipment right now, which I don't think we have got. The door is hot. I can't get out here, Mike. Understood. Just wait a sec, and I'll try to think of a way to get you out of there. Hurry up. Mm. I'm not going to last much longer. We're going as fast as we can. Don't give up. Okay, sounds like a kind of like a homosexual arms um, force now. <laughs> the first day seven years ago. 
Oh, so this is kind of going to play back and forward from the story. This is actually so far kind of reminds me of the uh, the movie Ladder Forty Nine. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'm John. Today's my first day here. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Chris. Can you tell me where I can find your fire chief? Sure, of course. Come with me. I'll take you there. Your first day as a firefighter? No, for the last two years I worked at a small town fire department. Then it'll probably take a bit of getting used to here. And what's he like? Your boss. Mike's okay. You'll get to meet him in a bit. I mean, I actually think I was uh, John Travolta's name and uh, Ladder 49 as well was Mike. As the, uh, he was the chief. Okay, this is his office. You'll have to go in alone. See you later. Thanks, Chris. Catch you later. Come in. You must be John. I've been expecting you. Are you the fire chief here? I'm John. I'm supposed to report to you today. Yes, that's me, Kate. But you can call me Mike. All right, Mike. I'm glad to be starting my service here. Nice to meet you too, John. I'll assign you to Chris and Alex's squad first. You've already met Chris and Alex. Well, you'll see for yourself. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, I wonder right, if Alex has... Put your gear in your locker, then jump into Alex, your uniform, um, and report to Chris. All right, Mike. Because see he you did uh, the last firefight game that we were in. Um, I guess this is us back to the present again. So this is kind of like Ladder 49, that aspect that's at the start of that movie does the big chemical plant fire or uh, John, industrial John, are you still there? plant fire. Come on, um, say something. I hear you, Mike. Please tell me that you found a way out of here. I can't stay here much longer. There's a ventilation shaft shown on the building plan. Can you see it? Where's it supposed to be? I can't see anything here. Concentrate, kid. The shaft has to be near the ground somewhere. Maybe there's something in front of it. Alright, so I look for a way out. Alright, these boxes are in front of it. You need to hurry, John. I don't know how much longer you'll be safe in there. Mike, I found it. But there is a grate across it. Make sure you get the grate off and get out of there before the ceiling collapses on you. I'm on it. The shaft. Then make sure you get in there ASAP. I'll guide you through the shaft. Just follow my instructions and you get out of there in one piece. Alright, here we are. Search control key. Alright. Okay, it's got a flashlight on. So as I was saying, uh, it kind of feels like Ladder 49 is the way it's switching back and forth from the, uh, the kind of the present day uh, when uh, the firefighter is actually trapped inside the building. I can't remember his name now in the movie. Um, but his name in real life is Joaquin Phoenix. Um, there should be a T junction right in front of you. Can you see anything? Okay, Mike, I see it. Where so am I going? Basically, you know, you on the middle. Head left, He's stuck inside this building. Uh, and then after a while, uh, you know, to get my money, but he, he ends up dying inside the building and all that. Uh, but you know, it, sh it switches back to a part, you know, where he starts his job at the fire station. You know, he's walking along the street. There's a shaft on um, left now. Where should I go? Keep going straight. There should be a right turn after a few yards. Alright. So, you know, how he's going down, he starts his day at the fire uh, station, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, just progresses on further and further through the day. And, uh. Oh, Don, fuck. What was that noise? I don't know. Everything's collapsing around here. You need to hurry. It's not much farther. Yeah, a lot of the Fortnite is also a good movie. Now it goes off to the right. My body's aching all over. Just a bit farther and you've made it. Don't give up now. I can see the end of the tunnel. The end. 
Well, then get yourself out of there. Mike, I'm out. Where to now? Now I should be in an administrative wing. Take a look around there. There's a first aid station in one of the rooms nearby. Try to get there. Okay. I'll find it. This doesn't look like the first aid link. I'll take a hose line now. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, so this is obviously one of the admin wings. Really don't want to be going out there. That looks kind of rough. Not there, or no. Do these open? No. Nothing. Right. I don't know if I've been in this door yet, so I'll check real quick. Okay, no, I've not. Fuck, I can't get back in. Okay, shit. Should be a first aid kit in here somewhere if it's like a, a warehouse. Take part of that workshop, but I don't think there is. Hmm. I don't think I have one in here. Then one more. Ah, there we go. Mike, did you copy? I'm at the first aid station now. Where do we go from here? Could you tell whether the hall beyond that wing is free? Negative, Mike. The exit is blocked, and everything beyond it is in flames. Understood. I'll find another way out for you. Chris and Alex are already headed towards you, too. In the meantime, try to find a first aid kit to treat your wounds. Yeah. I hope I can find something in here. There we go. Mike, I found a first aid kit. <laughs> but the air in here is getting worse and worse. Hurry, I'm not gonna last much longer. Fire alarm six years ago. So for six years ago, then he's obviously been working at the fire department about a year. Hey, any idea when we're getting the new Panther? I'd like to know that too. The extinguishing performance on the new model is supposed to be even better. We're not letting you get behind the wheel though, that's for sure. What? Why not? I still remember you crashing our Panther like it was yesterday. We can stick a student driver stick on the back. Ha, as if that would help. Don't look so down, Chris. It was just a joke. Yeah, yeah, it's all right to do that with me. I'll get you a coffee for that, Chris. I'm not going to say no to that. Looks like that coffee will have to wait. Attention, operation for the entire fire company. All vehicles to the passenger terminal. Fire alarm in the retail and restaurant area. Lives are in danger. Then let's get going. Let's go. John, you're driving. Yeah, get a drive the truck. Okay, fuck, that's the wrong door. Okay, excuse me. Okay, fuck. This way, and then we'll go back out. Ambulance. Is this my truck? Oh no, this one's my truck. Yeah. Yeah, it's American. So obviously it's going to teleport somewhere, I guess. Yep.
emergency personnel of Engine 2 and Rescue 4, report to me at Battalion 1 immediately for a mission briefing. Roger, man. On our way. It's actually a sick looking engine. Like, compared to what they had before, that looks sick. There's smoke forming somewhere in the building. Nobody's been able to find the cause yet. John, you're going in with Alex and Chris. Grab your equipment and make sure you find the cause as quickly as possible. All right, Mike. Copy. Come on, John. Well, this definitely feels like an upgrade from the last game anyway. Um, it definitely, definitely does. No, fuck, I wanted the next. Now grab your equipment and let's go. Yes, man. Fucking shush. Spray your faith. Give me my axe. Okay, excuse me. Chris, John, are you ready? Yes, ready. Then follow me. Shit. So, everyone ready? Then follow me. Right, so you gotta follow these What's guys. up, John? We're waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming, bud. Why don't these people stop running right in here if there's a fire alarm? Like, get the fuck out. <laughs> Mike, this is Alex. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. What's the situation? There's smoke coming from the ventilation system here, but the cause is still not clear. Understood. Then get searching. ASAP. We're on it. Okay, I say we split up. Chris, you go left to the shots. John, you take a look around upstairs. This is definitely not the whole Alex because... Pay special uh, attention yeah, to no, trash cans and ashtrays. I'll go check the shops on the right. Then let's go. Okay. I guess I'm going straight here and these guys are going to break off and go whatever. I didn't find anything. How are things looking for you guys? I couldn't see anything that could be the cause for the smoke either. There's nothing to report here so far. Then we'll carry on looking near catering. The smoke must be coming from somewhere. Can you see that? The smoke's definitely getting thicker, so we must be on the right path. Yeah, I see it. Keep going. The smoke is thinning out again back there, so it has to be somewhere right around here. Chris, you take the left-hand side, I'll check out the right, and John, you carry on checking the main hallway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check down here. Alex, oh, okay, Chris, shit, there we it. Something seems to have caught fire here in the trash can. I'll deal with it. All right, John, where exactly are you? The side corridor, behind the burger joint. Stay where you are. We are coming over. Chris, did you get that? Yes, understood. I'll be right there. Probably the breathing apparatus real quick, just so we can get in and close to the flame and get fire extinguished. How's it looking, John? Fire is out. Good job. Mike, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. What's the situation? John's found the source of the fire and it's already been extinguished. Good job, guys. Then please turn off your sirens and return to base. Copy, Mike. On our way. What's up, John? We're waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, hold on. 
I'm gonna turn off my. I was trying to figure What's out. What's up, John? We're off. waiting for you. Yes, mate. Trying to make sure these guys will still behind us. What's up, John? We're waiting for you. Fuck, you mean you're waiting for me? I'm not ahead of you. Ah, oh, what about that? I fucking ran out hills. What's up, John? We're waiting for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. John, you found the cause of the fire. As a reward, you get to turn the alarm off. My pleasure. Oh, that's brilliant, mate. Shields. Oh, what one is the fucking alarm? What red switch? Am I just being dumb here, or can I not see a red switch apart from that one right there? Oh, okay, it's here. Great, that'd be it then. Mike, do you copy? Yeah, I hear you. Signing off the mission. Alarm system has been reset. We're heading back. Okay, understood. See you at the station. Then let's go home. So full stage station, the present. John, are you still with us? Please respond. Yeah, I'm here, Mike. I'm doing a bit better. Very good. And now listen to me very carefully. There's a fire door in one of the adjacent rooms. It leads to a stairway, but the door will have already been locked automatically because of the fire, and we are not able to open it from here. Understood, Mike. What should I do? You'll have to switch off the power in that part of the building. Look for the main power distributor and turn off the main switch. All right, I'm on my way. All right, so where do I have to go now? I have to find something and switch something off. Find the main distributor and switch it off. What is the distributor? Maybe down here? Yeah, that door's locked. Knock the fuck out of it now. I think I need to go back to that big kind of control room area that's in here, I think. And be something in here.
I, can't, I really feel like it'll be something in here, but I don't know where or what. I don't know what it is that needs what what the distributor is. And why the fuck it needs switched off? Let's go this way. Ah, see, I've not been in here yet. Ah, here we go. I've switched the power off, and I'm headed to the fire door. Copy. Nah. Report to me as soon as you reach the stairs. Someone banging. I swear I can hear someone banging. Like, someone in one of these rooms. Mike, do you hear me? I'm at the stairs now. The fire hasn't reached this part of the building yet. Where am I going now? The upper floors are in flames. You'll have to find a way through one of the lower floors. All right, I'll find a way. You can do it, John. Chris and Alex are working their way through the building to you. Gas empty room. Nope. Right, so that's the dead end, and so is this way, so we'll go back this way. Empty room. Empty room. Okay, shit, that's not good. That's where the flooding's coming from. Nah. Nothing. Well, I guess we'll just run up here. Mike, did you copy? There's a steel door in front of me that won't budge. I can't get past it. Then we'll have to find another way. It's best to go back down the hallway you came down, and then take a left at the fork. There should be an air duct at ground level in one of the rooms that'll take you out of the basement. Then I'll head back. At least it's not so hot down here. Or like a warm shower. Alright, so we've got to look for an air vent that, uh... Has a, uh, it's inside one of these rooms, that's locked. It should be ground level, it said, so I can actually crawl into it. Okay, it's not in this one. Nope, not in there either. Oh, 
what's in behind these boxes. Alright, so let's try and progress up through this air vent and see where it takes us. Dead end? No, it's not. Nah, this game is definitely, definitely a very, very different feel to it. Um, the last one, you spent a lot of time kind of driving around and stuff to the callouts. Um, this one seems to actually have a kind of storyline behind it as well, not just you're the rookie starting the station, you progress up to the ranks. Um, it has a bit of story to it, so. That one does either because I can't see daylight through the other side, so. that one either. There we go. John, uh -huh. what's wrong? Are you okay? Headache. Uh, but what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I feel the video's gone long enough. Um, John, what, what happened? I'll do is do you copy? I'm still here, Mike. I just whacked my I'll hand continue on the from this point right. for the next video. We'll um, so I hope you guys did enjoy. And, uh, if you did enjoy, corridor, please leave a like. You have to go also, to one of the upper hit the subscribe floors. button. Leave a okay, comment as well. Let me know if there's anything I can do better. Or anything you want to see. Try you know, whatever. You know, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.